Hello everyone. In this video, we will discuss the functionalities of an admin user in Zoho Expense. An admin user can access all the modules of the product, configure the product, assign user roles, and do a lot more. Only an admin user can invite other users and assign them roles. Once you log in, you will be greeted with a dashboard where you can gain quick insight on reports pending for approval, report summary, and the number of unreported expenses, etc. We have integrated with several banks from around the world. Your credit card can be added here to fetch bank feeds, nothing but your bank transactions. You have an option to convert any particular transaction to an expense. All the major modules of the product can be accessed from the left sidebar. The Recipe section of Zoho Expense allows you to upload your recipes and automatically convert them into expense entries. You can upload recipes from your computer and from your cloud accounts such as Evernote, Google Drive, Dropbox, etc. Once your recipe is uploaded, it is automatically scanned, canned, and essential details like date, amount, merchant name, etc. are captured. You can also upload recipes in bulk. The Expenses section allows you to manually create expenses. To create a new expense, click on the Quick Create icon. Choose the date and the category. Please note that the categories can only be created by the admin. Enter the amount. You can also set the currency here. Associate taxes, if any. And select the claim reimbursement option if your expenses is reimbursable. Choose the payment mode from the drop-down. Enter the merchant details and description based on your requirement. Check this box if your company is willing to bill your customers for an expense incurred. Choose the customer from the drop-down. You can select the report to which this expense is to be added or create a new report using this plus new report option. If this is a mileage expense, now select the date and the method of mileage calculation, the distance traveled or through the automated reading. Enter the distance traveled in it or enter the start and stop reading from the automator. The amount will be automatically calculated you can also associate taxes while recording your expenses. You can also combine one or more expenses to create a report under the report section. Click on the plus new report to create a new report. Enter the report title. Choose the purpose of your visit. Please select the duration here. For an example, you might have a list of expenses over a period of time. Let's say a business trip. You can report them here. Select the list of expenses and save them. Select save if you wish to review it later or select save and submit to instantly submit your report for approval. If you have received any advance payments from your company, you can record them here. Please note that you won't be able to record an advance payment once the report are submitted. You can export or print and download this report in PDF format. An admin user can self-approve their own reports or forward the reports to other approvers for approval. The Approval section allows you to approve, reject, and reimburse submitted reports. For every action you make in the Approval section, a notification email will be sent to the submitter. You can also forward the submitted report to another approver using this Forward option. To do this, click on the More button. From the drop-down, select the Forward option. Select the approver to whom you wish to forward the report and enter the message you wish to convey. Click on the Forward button to forward the report to another approver. As an admin, only you can reimburse all the approved reports. To reimburse any approved reports, click on the Filter section on the top left corner and select To be reimbursed to view all the approved reports that are awaiting reimbursement. Select the report you wish to reimburse and click on the Record Reimbursement button. Enter the amount, details such as the payment mode, description and click on Record Reimbursement. This will change the status of the report from approved to reimbursed. The analytics section lets you generate in-depth analysis of your business expenditure using various parameters. As an admin, you will also have complete access to all the tabs of the settings section. You can invite users, set expense policies, create categories and do a lot more. You can change the organization's information from the organization profile tab under settings. If your organization is linked to Zoho Books or other Zoho applications, then altering any information here will be changed in other products as well. To invite users, head to the Users tab and click on the Invite User button present on the top right corner. 
enter the name and email address of the user and select a user role based on your requirement. You can also set a default approver for every user in Zoho Expense. Click on the invite button and an email invite will be sent to that user. The user can click on the join account link to access your Zoho Expense account. The preferences section under settings lets you to manage categories, mileage, expenses and reports. You can create new categories or to manage existing ones under the category section. Click on the plus new category to add a new category. If you wish to edit existing categories, click on the edit option. To configure the preferences for your mileage expenses, head to the mileage preferences section. You can choose your default mileage unit, default category for your mileage expenses and mileage rates as per your government's regulations. You can configure your organization's expense policies under the expense preferences section. Head to the general policies section and set an expense amount limit and a receipt required limit for all your expenses. Expense exceeding this amount will be considered as a policy violation. If you want description to be mandatory for every expenses, check the make description mandatory option. You can also set other preferences such as set an expense expiry period, send notifications for unreported expenses, enable automated currency conversions, etc. The report preferences section allows you to auto-generate expense report numbers and add custom fields for your reports. This section also allows you to configure email notifications during various stages of expense reporting process. A few examples would be sending email notifications when a report is approved or rejected or sending notifications to an approver reminding him of his unapproved reports. The list section under the settings tab allows you to manage your margins, customers and taxes. You can create, merge and edit margin entries under the merchants section. Customer information can be managed from the customer section. You can create, merge and edit merchant entries under the merchant section. Customer information can be managed under the customer section. The taxes section allows you to add new taxes and combine them into tax groups as per your country's tax regulations. Apart from being a standalone product, Zoho Expense is also integrated with other Zoho products such as Zoho Books and Zoho CRM. If you have any similar organization profile in Zoho Books and Zoho Expense, then all your approved expenses from Zoho Expense will be synced with Zoho Books. To view approved expenses from Zoho Expense in Zoho Books, head to the Purchases tab and click on the Expenses. Click on the filter drop down on the top. Click on from Zoho Expense filter to view all the expenses from Zoho Expense. If you are a Zoho CRM user, you can import your accounts and contacts into Zoho Expense. You can also bulk import users and assign them roles. We hope this video helped you in understanding your role as an admin in Zoho Expense. If you have any questions, please contact us at support at the rate zohoexpense.com for any further assistance.